Welcome to the Rowdy.com. Good God, dog. <laughs> Com, big three, sitting <laughs> alongside Buck B, Ron Bassmaster, Jerome Buzz Cutler has the questions, and the dog, as we bring yet another creature into the studio today. Right, because the three of us aren't enough in this oh-so-spacious uh, studio. Yeah. So Jay Busby, our buddy from over at Yahoo Sports, yeah. <laughs> yeah. he wrote a little blog yesterday saying, this contract between Casey Kane and Hendrick Motorsports is bad news for the sport because sure. mm -hmm. no other sport in the world allows you to sign a new contract while you're still under the directives of an old one. And signing a contract for a year away is just ridiculous. Can you can you imagine, um, well, you know, Alex Rodriguez signing a contract to go someplace in 2012? No, but stop, but Jay, seriously, this has been a tradition in our sport. I mean, Kurt Busch did it. Other Jamie guys, McMurray did it. Wait, I'm wait, sorry. this is taking it to a new level though, because there's it's it's like a season and a half away. It's not that, just. The I, next I think season. Jamie McMurray did that too. Yeah, he did. He totally did. Listen, it's it's NASCAR. I'm sorry. Stop trying to compare it to stick and ball sports. It ain't hockey. It's just, it's a totally different ball game. Actually, it's not a ball game. It's a race, and that's what makes it different. It's just a totally different thing, and, and, and if we compare it to golf or to football or to everything else, you, you just don't understand it for what it is. The, it's its own thing. The timing of this is not, to me, what makes it bad for the sport. Right, the, right. The thing right. that con would be concerning to me yes. would be the fact that you're amassing all this star power at one team. Well, totally. this is issue number two. Okay. So is there a point when Hendrick gets too big, too powerful, too much marketing muscle, too much performance muscle yes. under one roof? Yes. They've already done it. I mean, I, mean, I love the interview yesterday when they, Rick asked us when he was asked this question. He was, he was like, uh, uh, uh. Well, uh, it's not his responsibility. <laughs> right. No, I'm sorry, no, but it's not his responsibility great point, great to point. make sure that the other True. teams are running. Really, it's his responsibility to kick everyone else's ass, and I mean, that's what he's doing. He is, and he's trying to amass as much talent as he can. I just think that what happens is you get so much talent in one spot. Now, you look at the 14 rule. That was a way to address this, maybe. But now we've got satellite, which, surprise, Hendrick perfected the satellite relationship, which he's done surprise. with Stuart ha Haas Racing, which is going to allow him, most likely, in my opinion, just because it's the path of least resistance, to place Casey Kane in another car for one year until Mark Martin's ready to vacate the five car. I mean, that is probably, in my opinion, what's going to happen, and it's because of this satellite relationship. Now you look at the star power under Hendrick's roof right now, Jeff Gordon, Jimmy Johnson, it's Dale Hart Jr., crazy. Mark Martin, Casey Kane, Tony Stewart, Ryan Newman. This guy could start his own series. Well, uh, I'll, I'll how, how, what percentage of the fan base would come with him? So, and he's yeah, not going to yes, do it. I'm not suggesting he's going to do anything like that, because why would? He's kicking everyone's ass right now. But, it, but if you think about one team, one team, right, having what percentage of the fan base do they have? The answer, 50, 60, 70? Uh, the answer to, to Bass's question, I know he likes to like to, to keep it short, is yes. Yes. It's bad for the sport. It's bad for the sport. It's bad for the sport. It's great for Rick Hendrick, though. It's great. I mean, congratulations to him. But I think it is bad for the sport. I mean, you don't have the, the, the rich natural... get richer, man. Yeah. I mean, and furthermore, Richard Petty Motorsports and... becomes one team that's now clearly not a top tier team anymore if they ever were. And NASCAR thinks it's bad for the sport. They, they won't say it, but they wouldn't have gone out and done the four team limit if they didn't try to prevent this from happening. They didn't prevent it, and they need to do franchising to prevent it in the future. Yeah, at some point, I think you got to look at that again. They have to. All right, I have a blog from a little website called Stock Car Spin. Oh. And this blog was written by Ben Montedonicho. Montedonicho. Or something along those lines. And Ben compares Kelly Byers' performance with Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s performance <laughs> and says that, you know what, they're, they're about the same, except uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. is underperforming based on experience and expectations. So if Kelly Byers <laughs> should get fired, then Dale Jr. should get fired. Yeah, they're, they're the same, except when you look at the merchandise. Hey, hey, you know what, Bass, we were talking about a minute ago, the rich get richer? Sorry, Kelly, you got hosed. It's not... Life ain't fair. I once went to a therapist who said, tell your kids life ain't fair because that's the way it is. I think Junior, for he's going to have a much better, <laughs> he's going to have a longer rope than Kelly Byer. <laughs> that's clearly he the He doesn't even have a rope, man. He's got an elevator. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, 
There's a reason. I don't know what you want me to say. I mean, I mean yeah. Okay, that's pretty funny. Clever blog. Clever blog. Yeah. I think it's really clever, but it doesn't make a damn. Bit doesn't of make sense. a bit of difference. Yeah, not at all. I mean, at some point, I think maybe the question is: Does there come a point where Rick Hendrick, Dale Jr. mutually agree this ain't working? That to me is the yeah, question. That's a good question. Can that can that point ever arrive? Well, I, and I, I, I think to me, yes, it can arrive. And the question is when, if this continues. And I, I personally have gone on record as saying I think Junior will get there. But if he doesn't, how long would they keep going with this? It, at some point, isn't it? Doesn't the pressure become kind of especially if Casey Kane comes over there and starts, starts to kicking perform? Butt. Right. Of course, that that would be weird. I mean, I, I you know that's like, the question in my mind. Is Junior's become David Duvall? I mean, you know, whoa, it's, it's, whoa, <laughs> he hasn't horrible. gotten fat. Duvall got skinny. And then he got vertigo, and then he was out of the sport. And now he's kind of chunky, don't you think? Wait, vertigo, how high are you when you play golf? I mean, do you get up, do you climb a ladder, do you I don't climb think stairs? you have a very good understanding of vertigo. <laughs> vertigo is It was like, an Alfred Hitchcock movie with Jimmy Stewart and Kim And Novak. did you know that that was that first date I had with my wife? Was, was to see that, that movie. movie. Yeah. On that note, come to Rowdy.com, and we'll talk about Jimmy, Jimmy Stewart, and lots of other things well, NASCAR-related. And Murray! Murray! <laughs> Murray, it's me! Ah! <laughs> I love doing Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy Stewart. Oh, 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 Mary, I, 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 Mary. Okay, Rosemary. Mary, where's my hookah pipe? Where's your, your hookah pipe? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know. That seemed like something Jimmy Stewart would never say. Uh, what the f- Rowdy.com. Say it like it is. Say what like it is. Rowdy.com. Rowdy.com.